Hey guys, uh, Sean Pruitt here. A lot of exciting news happening in the oil industry. Oil prices are over $90 a barrel today. And if you include inflation adjusted, that's more like $60 a barrel. Oil prices are still very cheap and they still have a lot of room to grow. And it stopped Jerome Powell adjusting interest rates to stop them in, in their tracks. I mean, this game of chess that OPEC plus Russia, Saudi Arabia, Iran were playing together because these guys are working together. All of the rhetoric coming out of the Middle East for war, for these attacks, the strategic drone attacks on oil infrastructure, the rhetoric of Houthi rebels, Iran upping their rhetoric against America, against Saudi Arabia, against Israel, the attacks in the Red Sea. All of this was strategic to push oil prices where they are today, period. That was the plan. Iran makes money from oil. Russia makes money from oil. Saudi Arabia, everyone in the Middle East stands to benefit from these things. Now, whether you believe that they're working together or not, either way, everything that's happening there is strategic to push oil prices up. The OPEC plus cartel have come together to curb oil prices to push oil prices up. These wars and everything that's happening, okay? And now the the administration in place, I won't mention their name because I listen, Google, help me out, guys. Like and subscribe this channel share this information, comment below. It, it helps me tremendously. And so I have to be careful of the things that I say. And so here's the deal. We are in a situation where oil prices are out of control. The negative sentiment towards oil has broken. We've broken the back. When I say we, the oil has broken the back of negative oil sentiment. The left controlling the narrative of the anti-oil. You had the EIA pushing the rhetoric that shale oil and gas was increasing and we are in a wash of oil and the demand for oil is dropping. Green energy is taking over. People are buying electric vehicles, so on and so forth. That narrative has been broken. And the negative sentiment towards oil have been broken and the tables have turned. And so as you see oil prices at well over $90 a barrel and could potentially hit highs of $100 oil. Now, keep in mind, $90 oil is cheap. Oil, that, that's more like $60 a barrel today with inflation, okay? OPEC Plus is shaking up the scene, challenging the narrative of a rapid shift towards green energy with oil prices soaring past the $90 mark. We're witnessing a fascinating tug of war between traditional oil powerhouses and the burgeoning energy, green energy movement. OPEC's strategic maneuver central to OPEC's uh, recent triumph is their decision to prolong production cuts, a move that has significantly tightened the global oil supply. This bold strategy directly counters the narrative of a swift transition to green energy, showcasing OPEC's plus enduring influence over oil prices. Iran's geopolitical gambit, Iran's skillful use of proxy conflicts have injected a new layer of geopolitical tensions into the mix, keeping markets on edge. The uncertainty surrounding Iran's actions adds fuel to the fire, driving oil prices upwards and bolstering OPEC's plus position. The Russia-Ukraine energy saga, the energy ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine isn't just a regional issue. It's impacting global energy markets. Ukrainian drone attacks on Russian refineries have dealt a significant blow to Russia's oil processing capabilities, exasperating an already tight global supply and pushing prices higher. Drone warfare Redefined, drone strikes on oil infrastructure have become a modern warfare tactic, directly influencing global oil supply and prices. These targeted attacks send shockwaves through the markets, highlighting the vulnerability of the energy infrastructure to geopolitical tensions. Regional rhetoric adding fuel to the fire. The escalating rhetoric between Iran, Houthi rebels, and Saudi Arabia adds another layer of uncertainty, particularly in the oil-rich Middle East. This geopolitical posturing keeps global markets on edge, contributing to the upward pressure on oil prices. AI's impact on fossil fuel demand amidst geopolitical unveils a artificial intelligence. AI is emerging as a significant driver of energy demand. 
the exponential growth of an AI technology with its massive computational requirements is increasing the need for electricity, much of which is still generated from fossil fuels. This paradox challenges the notion of a smooth transition to green energy, underscoring the continued importance of oil and gas. Strategic Petroleum Reserve Dilemma. The U.S. decision to halt Strategic Petroleum Reserve repurchases amidst rising prices highlights the delicate balance between national energy security and market realities. Governments must navigate this intricate dance to respond effectively to fluctuating energy markets. Navigating the energy transition, despite aggressive green energy policies, the enduring demand for oil fueled in part by the digital and AI revolution suggests a more complex transition ahead. OPEC's plus strategic position combined with global energy consumption patterns paints a picture of a transition that may not be as swift or straightforward as initially envisioned. In this high stakes game of global energy politics, OPEC Plus have demonstrated its adaptiveness in navigating turbulent waters. As the world embarks on a digital transformation, the demand for energy, including oil, is poised to rise challenging the narrative of oil's demise. So here's, here's the deal, guys. The Middle East has won the war against the anti-oil rhetoric, the negative sentiment on oil markets, the big three, BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street tried to manipulate the oil cartel, tried to offset the oil cartel's oil cuts by selling off oil, trying to control the oil markets, and they have failed. The Green Energy Initiative has failed. The anti-oil negative sentiment on the oil markets have failed. Jerome Powell has failed. The West has failed against the oil markets. At the end of the day, when OPEC Plus comes together to cut oil prices, when the Middle East erupts in war, there is absolutely nothing the West can do to curb oil prices. And I truly believe that there's still room to grow as oil prices at one point during the days of George W. Bush were $140 a barrel, which is $200 a barrel in, in today's dollar. We are less than halfway. All right, guys, I'm Sean Pruitt, president of Kingdom Exploration. If you're interested in this channel, please subscribe and comment. Tell me what you think. Give me some insights to what, what you're hearing and, and, and what's going on out there. All right, guys, thanks.